Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is a Delhi University's admission process for the year 2022 because it has been changed and a lot of you were asking me on how to get admission in Delhi University. So here's an updated video of it. So before we get started with this video, I know that there's like lots of admission forms and stuff which you guys have to fill. So I wanted to introduce you to TradeX, which is an opinion trading app. Opinion trading, which is a great way for students and professionals alike to make money online. So TradeX is an opinion trading app where you can earn money by predicting events from the category of entertainment, politics, and so much more. It is available to download on the web for both Android and iOS users, as well as it is the only opinion trading platform available on the App Store. For example, here I am predicting if Brazil will win the World Cup or not, I can simply bid on it. So I can simply vote yes or no and buy the number of shares that I want to earn. You can easily sell your shares on the platform as well to earn early profits. So there's an instant match feature which has a shorter timeline so you can get your profits quickly and instantly over there. So another feature that I really like is the refer and earn feature which allows you to make even more money. Every successful referral will allow you to make rupees 10 and when you sign up on the app using my code SAM20 you get 20 rupees in total so you get 10 rupees when you sign up on the app and you get 10 rupees extra when you sign up using my code so what are you waiting for go to the link in the description box below and sign up using my code SAM20 on the TradeX app. Now coming on to the video I want to tell you about how to get admission into Delhi University. The main way and the most important way to get admission into Delhi University is by giving the CUET exam, which is one of the exams that is happening from this year itself. It is in July. So for gaining admission into Delhi University, you need to appear for that exam. Now here is the complete list of how you need to appear for the exam. BSc courses, you must have passed the 10 plus 2, which means your 12th exam in 2022 in Physics, Chemistry, Maths and Biology. And for the CUET papers, you need to appear for the Physics, Chemistry, Maths paper if you are from PCM. And if you are from PCB, then you need to appear for the Physics, Chemistry and Biology exam. And it is also written candidates must have obtained at least 30% marks in any one language in CUET 2022 for admissions. So you also need 30% marks in any one of the languages for the CUET exam. So basically the CUET exam is the main exam and for BSc this is the procedure you need to do this first and then comes BA. For BA courses you must have passed 12th and any one language from section one and any three subjects from the other sections so for these sections i'll mention it right here on the screen you can check it out right over here so uh, yeah you can choose the categories from here there are obviously more subjects so i leave the complete list of everything in the description box below so make sure that you go and check that out as well for your references but for BA honors economics you must have passed class 12th and any one languages mathematics and any two subjects you need to appear for the CUET exam is BBA then BCom and then linguistic programs so for all that here is the eligibility criteria for all those subjects so you can check it out right here you can screenshot it and accordingly you can give the CUET exam now you must be wondering what the CUET exam is so if you are then I leave the link to what is CUET and everything explaining that in the description box below as well so make sure that you go and check that out and I think the date for uh, appearing for the exam is July 2nd or something like that in July it keeps uh, changing every day for some reason so as of now it is in July if you are appearing this year then you must have already applied for the CUET exam so what is the process basically for applying to Delhi University Up until last year if you wanted to apply to Delhi University you just had to give your 12th exams and the best four percentage of your best four subjects was taken but this year the pattern has completely changed so what will happen this year is you need to clear your 12th exam this is the first thing that you need to do and the second thing that you need to do is you need to appear for the CUET exams 
obviously if you are from the science stream only then you can apply to bsc and so on uh, i mean science students definitely can apply to other subjects as well but if you want to appear for the but if you are from like suppose art sides obviously you cannot go for the bsc courses because it will be harder for you so uh, this is what the main criteria sort of is so once you have given the cuet exam then what will happen the results will come out so it's basically like the iit papers in which the results come out is a percentage and stuff and according to that according to all the students who have appeared for the exam for the cuet exam according to that there will be rankings and there will be merit list so once you get the merit list you can apply to the college that you want to as of now the total number of seats are 69554 so these obviously also include some reservations reservations for the sc st category the ews category and for the women candidates as well now there are different colleges and every college has different criteria so you have to look at the college that you want to apply to and accordingly you can put your certificates and stuff now there are also 3291 seats that is reserved for the ECA category ECA category means the extracurricular activities students who are very good in other activities and sports so there's also seat reserved for those candidates but those are separate seats these numbers can obviously change every year the seat exceeds and they have to increase the number of seats so as of now it is this another thing is for minority colleges like st stephens college jesus and mary college and there's so many more colleges which are like uh, for minorities so in that kind of college if you want to get an admission then it depends on 85% of your marks in cuet exam and 15% on the college itself so the college will look at your profile if you belong to a minority or not or how many marks you have got and different kind of uh criteria according to each college it can differ and they will select you on basis of that if you want to apply to the basic colleges in delhi university suppose you want to apply to lady shri ram college obviously you need to be giving the cuet exam and accordingly the cut off will come out and then you can apply and if you get selected then it's well and good also you need to be a female candidate for lady shri ram college that's another criteria so on top of the cuet exam marks these are some of the criteria which each and every college has for their own students uh, some students give 1% reservation to women candidates my college in which i am there delhi college of arts and commerce i also got i guess 1% uh, reservation some colleges do it for female candidates now to help you all even further here is a poster or something that tell university themselves have put on their website so i'll link this thing in the description as well so if you go to the website and you can check it out they will help you out in cu at exam in day 1 day 2 day 3 and everything is basically here so you can take a screenshot of this as well i'll link it in the description box as well it's very So as of now this is all the information that I know of for Delhi University admissions they will provide more information once uh, the CUET exams are cleared so this is what it is and you can go and register for the UG admissions i link the website again in the description so please go and check it out there is also a bulletin of information for University of Delhi undergraduate admissions please go and read it thoroughly once and after you have read it everything will be cleared but even then if you have any questions you can comment in the comment box below or you can contact me on my instagram it is at samriddhi avasthi and i will help you out if you are interested in taking help from me i mean <laughs> so thank you so much for watching i hope that this video helped you in some way and as a delhi university student myself i can help you out subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell i upload tell university related videos too so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video now bye